Hey guys, Jack Scalfani here, and I am downtown, about ready to go into the first location to kick off Char Griller Barbecue Wars Tour Texas Edition. You guys asked us to come to Texas, we are here, Dallas, Texas, to start off, and we are at a place called Pecan Lodge. That's the plan, and there dude. is a. We're going to where? We're going to Pecan Lodge. Pecan Lodge. And oh, it smells so good. There are people Holy calling. God, dude, I can't take it. <laughs> People are, people are calling Mitch right now, oh, find out where we're going the first. Door, dude, there was a line there. out the door, Pecan right, Lodge right up. here. There it is. No, 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 we we'll wait in line. It's supposed to be worth it. Absolutely. Man, when there's a line and it hasn't even opened yet, there it is, that's what it looks like. This is what the line looks like. And they should be opening soon. Kind of reminds me of when we went to Joey's Pizza. There's a line there waiting, but this is like twice the amount of people. Okay, so we finalized the scoring. Here's what's gonna be happening. We're doing chicken, we're doing ribs, we're doing pulled pork, and if they have brisket, they get five points bonus. If they have beef ribs, they get five points bonus. Every place, it's a, and then we're also judging them on um, its appearance, taste, and value, okay? So all of those are one to 10 points. Each one is 10 points, except the five point bonuses, totaling 100 points, all right? So you guys, and for the sides, Every place has different sides, so we're gonna be rating three sides here. We don't know until we get in every place. Side number one, side number two, side number three. We're not forcing everybody to have mac and cheese. We're not for, we try to make some tweaks to the, from the last Barbecue Wars tour. Okay, so that's it. What? I'm just laughing. Oh, what are you laughing at? I just think everything's funny right now. All right, so how, what's the bonus meats again? Uh, brisket is five and the beef ribs are five. That's right. They better have beef ribs. Because we are in Texas. I know. And I don't want to hear all, another freaking word about if I, it. If I go, if we go to a place God. that doesn't have it, I'm going to talk to the manager. I'm just going to go at every place. I'm like, dude, man. you're in Texas. Stay in the south. How is there no beef ribs? <laughs> Unbelievable. Yeah, all of you said, really, you're doing barbecue wars tour in January. There's a line. I'm standing in the middle of it. I'm now almost in the middle of the line. So, don't tell me that people don't do barbecue in January. They in do. fact, I'm glad I'm here in January, so all of you ain't here. This way I can get to food faster. I love you guys. Okay, this is definitely a steer. But what I found off, kind of, what gave kind of it away? The, yeah, what gave it away? <laughs> what gave it away that it's a steer? I have no idea. Dallas, Texas. Woo! Come on in. Did they just welcome us? Yes. Before they we get started. First, there's absolutely no reserving table. Please stay in line with your group until you have made a purchase. <laughs> Second of all, our express lane is open for those who are ordering a minimum of five pounds of meat or a special platter to chop. That is right. All orders of a minimum of five pounds or the chop may go to our express line. Or the what? The chop? The trough? What's the trough? The trough? Yeah, it's go, go in line. It's a family platter that's five pounds. You can order that. Oh, yeah. All right. Uh, yeah. Okay. yeah, we're not doing that much. Not Sorry. Not okay, so they literally don't let you save tables. No. They just warned us that. And they gate you in. Uh, we're literally steer for the slaughter. Look at this. This is the things they use for bull riding. This is how they run the run the bulls in. Okay, guys. Well, I'm not close up enough to get the board yet, but it doesn't look like a really big menu. So let's hope they have all the meats because we will dish out a zero. Any place that doesn't have ribs, pulled pork, or chicken. Here's a fat zero. All right, so there we go. Bob just got his first order of the day right there. Check one. Check two, Joy is getting hers. They're kicking off the orders pretty fast. Okay, these guys have been rated the best. The best in Texas. Smoking the Dallas Morning News, Star Telegram. 100 best. These are all, oh my gosh, it just goes on and on. No, he hasn't. All right, guys. Guy Fieri's been here. I like how he's just tucked away on the top shelf. Unlike the big wall murals he does at other places, he came here. So, anyway, you got merchandise here. If you guys are a big fan. There you go. Brisket, old pork, they have everything. They even have beef ribs. I don't know what those are. Giant beef ribs. They get five extra points just for having beef ribs, and they get five extra points for having brisket. Uh, we're subbing the barbecue smoked chicken with their fried chicken. We're still gonna rate it as chicken. So they don't have smoked or barbecued, but they have supposedly the best fried chicken in all of the state of Texas. 
according to the media. Okay, what's your name? Brett Brown. Brett Brown, and yep. where are you from, Brett? Um, from from Flower Mound, but okay. living down in San Marcos right now. Awesome. College. Have you ever been here? No, I've never. Never? Okay. Sir, how about you? Bob Morrison, and this is excellent barbecue. Really? I'm from Highland Village, Texas. Really? Okay, and your first time also? First time. All right, may I ask what you just chowed down? I have a three beef with a beef brisket and a rib and sausage, and then he got the hot sauce. Oh, so you guys shared a little yeah. bit. That's awesome. What did you think? Uh, I thought it was phenomenal. So yeah. it's totally worth driving from Nashville, huh? Probably, yeah. I would awesome. drive from Austin to make this trip. Awesome, you guys. Well, we're going to partake in a bunch of stuff. I got a beef rib yeah. also, so I'm going to try that out. But thank you guys so much for your Man. time. Yeah. Have Go a safe trip back home. Thank you. Right, Thanks, man. Mitch, talk to me. Oh my gosh! <laughs> Look at the beef rib. What is Look that? Look at the beef rib. Wait, hey, hold it up to your head. Hold it up to your head. It's gonna be like a big smile. Look at this. Oh my gosh. Dude, look at that thing. Oh. Oh. Uh, no, no, no. It's only off. Easy. Okay. Okay. That's anyway. for twenty-two bucks right there. All right, all right. What is this right here? The greens. Collard greens. Collard greens. Are what else we got here? The brisket. And that's ribs also. Yeah. Look at those ribs, dude. Oh my gosh. All right. And then the pulled pork is over there. The coleslaw, mac and cheese and bacon, and fried chicken, and don't forget the roll. Wow. Yeah, I know. All right, come on. Let's do this. All right. Hold on, we need so, to cut some of this out. Yeah. Just strip it to the bone. Um. You can't if you oh want. my gosh! You can't if you want. What are you What are you mouth watering about? Look at that. This is a butter That's a knife. That's a butter knife. That's a butter knife. <laughs> That's a butter knife. <laughs> That's a butter knife. Oh my god! Shark grillers, we love you. Yes. For allowing us to even partake in this. We gotta cut this, this in why, half. This is why I want. This is why I want beef ribs in Tennessee. Look at this. Butter knife. Oh my goodness. All right. Oh my oh. goodness. Unbelievable. Guys, I'm seriously crying right now. I cannot. Oh, never mind. I'm going to go eat. All right, Mitch, what are you trying first? I'm going to have the rib, dude. Do it. I, I got I to have it. Do it. Look at that. Oh. You put that whole piece in your mouth. Mm -hmm. Do you even need to chew it? Or do you just press your tongue against it? Look at him. Look at him. He's euphoric. Unbelievable. Crazy? It's better than it looks. Better than it looks? Dude, it looks like right. flawless. It looks Same. heavenly. Yeah. Serious. It's better than that. Alright. Go. Go to the color greens now. Those should be like buttery or a little greasy, baking greasy. A little bit of heat, a little bit of meat. A little in heat in them. Those are different than Tennessee, dude. Those are better than the ones in Tennessee? They're different. Different. It's more of a sweet taste. It really? doesn't have the heat. Well, there's a little heat on the back end, but it's kind of sweet up front. It's interesting. Okay, guys, we're doing this world famous fried chicken. We just dive it into it, and then I'm going to start chowing on some stuff. That looks good. Look yeah. good? Is it cooked to the bone? I think so. Might yeah. want to, is your light on that? Yeah, no. It's all good. It's all good. All right, hey. All right, just drop all it right. in there. All right. All right, here's the chicken. All right. Let's sit if it's not. Give me the truth. Chip number 31, JT. Chip number 31, JT. I'm going to let you try that, dude. You're not even going to tell me. Right, I don't even know right how to. Let me just do it right now. All right. You want me to rip it in the chicken? Here we go. Just eat the chicken and tell me what you think. The first thing on your palate. That that batter is amazing. I know. I can't. Just what's in it? I can describe it. What is it? It's like no other batter I've ever had on fried chicken ever in my life ever. I get it. Oh my god, I get it, guys. You got to do the chicken, do the fried chicken. Amazing. Dude, don't tell me we hit our winner the first day. Don't tell me that. All right, you ready for more? 
Let me do the, one of these ribs, okay? okay. Here's the pork rib. Comes right off the bone. Okay. We'll talk about that outside. Really quick, two more things. Pull pork, pork. Pull pork can go in any direction. Absolutely. Good seasoning. <laughs> Alright. We can the, try the brisket. We'll try the, try the beef rib. Do the beef rib and then do the You're going to do the brisket and mac and cheese, okay? Okay. Alright. Do so I'm doing, the, I'm doing this. Yeah, Guys, okay. I want you to watch this. This is amazing. I'm not winning a lot of time. That is amazing. All right, you're doing the whoops, mac and cheese with the bacon, dude. Yeah. You know, the thing that's never at any barbecue joints? Yeah, the mac and cheese. Yeah. Uh, and then they even put bacon in it. Yeah, look at this. Ooh, that's thick. Get it, take it thick. off, take it off. That's real thick. Take it off, take it off. Hey, don't, don't give away all of it. All right? Uh, <laughs> All right. That's good. Yep. And then a bit of brisket. Oh, that brisket is just falling apart. They cut it perfectly. Look at the outside. Everything's got a perfect part on it, guys. All right, go ahead. It's got good flavor. Oh my gosh, so much food here. Just gonna take a little bit of coleslaw. A lot of red cabbage. Almost 75% red cabbage in the coleslaw. Never seen that before. Oh, yeah, hold on. Yeah, try the poke while, dude. Try that. And wait, and don't answer until it's all gone. Your mouth goes through a whole bunch of flavors, dude, as you keep chewing. And what is that? It's a caraway. Carol Wow, carrot. Wow, that's got some heat. With the seeds in it, the car caro oh. caraway seeds. What are those? Caraway? Something right? like yeah. Something like that. Ooh. Sorry guys, I Ooh. totally blew it up. That's that hotter spicy. than the greens. Way spicier than the greens. But it's amazing. It's, it's outstanding. I can't believe we just gave that away. All right, guys, I'm gonna taste their barbecue sauce. Hey, we're not here to rate barbecue sauce. Nothing special at all, very bland. But you know what, guys? I didn't even want to try the barbecue sauce because it was, the meat is so seasoned. This place is booming right now. Okay, so I think, I think as we ate things, we went from best to worst, and there really is no worse in this building. There's no bad at all, okay? There's better, and then there's best, all right? The beef rib, it's worth 22 bucks. It's the best beef rib I had in years, okay? You saw it, it melted like butter, and we cut through it, it was unbelievable. Uh, the ribs, the pork ribs were just as good. The fried chicken was unbelievable batter, you gotta check that out. The fried chicken truly is amazing. The collard greens were like no other. It's that recipe that I would kill for if I could find it, so I'm gonna look for Pecan Lodge uh, collard greens recipe because it was sweet and a little bit of heat. The coastal had a little bit of heat too. I loved it. It was unbelievable. I love all the red cabbage that was in there. Everything we ate was good, except I was a little disappointed in the brisket. It was leaned on the dry side. Um, it didn't have as much flavor as everything else. So uh, anything I would, I'm gonna knock is, is probably the brisket. And that's about it. It's worth the money. The prices are pretty reasonable to everybody else's barbecue prices. I love this place. Score is down below. Score is on the screen. We'll put it up there once we show you everything. And uh, congratulations to this place. This place is like amazing. It's like top, top barbecue. So it's going to be hard to beat. Let's find out what Mitch thinks. Talk to me, man. All right, I'm still getting the sauce off my face. Um, what a way to start this tour, man. This place was amazing. 
dude, was it not good or what? So we did all the meats inside the fried chicken uh, with the batter. Some, it's probably the best I've ever had. Um, it's just so different. And if you ever get in here, definitely do the chicken. You have to have a piece of chicken. Um, that beef rib was, yeah, that was probably the one of the best things I've ever had in my life was that rib. I mean, I, I've never cut through something so easily with a freaking butter knife. And then it just, it melted in your mouth. The flavor was just, it was to die for. The mac and cheese was okay. Um, the, the, the pork ribs were fantastic. They fell off the bone. Um, the brisket was a little dry. The bark was good, but it, it was just a little on the dry side. Mac and cheese, like I said, a little, eh, you know, the bacon was good on it. But um, then we went into the, the greens and there was something in those greens that were just, I've never had them before. It was a sweet in the beginning. I know what it was, it was fantastic. I would love to have them again. Hopefully they get those in Tennessee because I would go to that restaurant just for that. And then the, um, what was it, the coleslaw? The cabbage, it was fantastic. Guys, this place was fantastic. I mean, it was probably one of the best I've ever been at in my life. But um, that's it for here. It's a great way to start. We will catch you guys at the next restaurant, okay? That's it for now.